Hey guys, welcome back to Nexus Core, and today I'm going to show you the most broken gold paladin deck I own. It's a uh, Liberator Garmore. So starting off, we only got four copies of the only grade three in the deck, which is Wolfing Liberator Garmore. It's limit break, it's trash, so you never use it, and its other skill is pretty decent. It's when it attacks, you choose a Liberator Vanguard, put on the bottom of your deck, and it gets 4k. Choose a Liberator Vanguard? Yes, choose a Liberator Vanguard, not Rear Guard. Cool. And then it has Lord, but that doesn't matter because Clan Fight exists. Go back to Lord. Next up, we got four copies of the card that's basically going to win you the game, which is four copies of Taciturn Liberator Brennius. Uh, Bernie it, Sanders. Same. If you have a Liberator Vanguard, every time you call a card from your deck, he gets 2k. And then uh, he gets on, it, on hit, on flip, and that's for everything called. So if you call five things from your deck, he's on hit, on flip five. Next up for our grade two is we're running four copies of Aglavale, which used to be the most broken grade two gold paladin card. And now we got more gold paladin grade twos trying to copy it, but it will never be the same. Aglavale skills counterblast one when he's placed on rear. If you have a Liberator Vanguard, look at the top three cards of your deck, look for a Liberator and call it. It's like the other, it's like Paramore in Henry's, but better. And he's not GB restricted. Next up we got the most Broken grade two in the whole game because it has no skill text, but look at that 10k base. It's Galatine. This will make me shit my pants. Same. We got four copies of Horsa. Horsa's really broken in Gurgit. He's really broken in Garmore. He gets plus 2k to himself and the thing in the same column every time he calls something. Put these two in the same column. See what, see what happens. It's really great. Next up, we got four copies of Zoran. Because every time Zoran's called from the deck, you move him to soul, look at top three, call Liberator. He's there for maybe the possible puts things in soul and also to thin out your deck and do more calls and stuff. Stride fodder, because we only run four Garmors. If we run any other Garmore, the deck bricks, so we need stride fodder so you can stride. Last but not least, two Levania PGs, because we only need two PGs in this deck. You either go hard or go home. Next up, we're running four copies of Coel because it's like Zoran but better, and also it's your starter and deck thinning. Four copies of Catch Goal because you all know Catch Goal does put it back in your deck, call something, helps you stack Brennius and Horsa column for more power. This is basically your draw engine, Gigantic Ringer. If you see this card when you're doing your searches, call it so you can get draws and pluses, put it back in your deck for more stands. We're running 12 stands, boys, and this is a high beast. We got Rune Bow. This card is actually pretty decent in this deck. It's kind of plus one with the soul. Look at the top card of your deck and call it. It's good. We got Nap Gall because it's a high beast liberator. It's the only reason I'm running it because it's a high beast. If the if there was another high beast liberator, I'd run that and shit instead. I love how little care you're putting into this. It's great. <laughs> We're running four copies of our main G unit. If you stride into anything else, it means you're terrible at this game. Garmore's <laughs> skill is uh, GB2. You put a card from your deck to the bottom of your from your drops in the bottom of your deck. Look at the top six. For each high beast, give a unit plus 4K. Uh, give it each different units for each different high beast plus 4K. And if you see four high beasts, he gets a crit. That's not important. This, the important skill is his other skills. Kamos 1, Solas 1. If you have a heart with Garmore, the top three, call one, put the rest back, shuffle your deck. It's not once per turn. You just do that, max out your counterblast, and use Bernius to unflip them. It's how you make loops. Four Glorious Raining, because it's the only other good G unit for this deck, and if you go into this, it means you're bad. Radiant Sword, because I can't find any other things to fill the deck with. <laughs> Scourge Point. Sabreeze. We got two Dismals because Brennius is actually really important to the deck, so you make sure you don't want to lose him. And finally, three Slamies because 41k shields are nice. Have a nice day, ladies and gentlemen.